Good morning, Boygan, and welcome to the 4th of July Parade. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Chris, uh, it's been a while since we've been together on TV. This is pretty nice. It is nice, and after last year's uh, COVID problem, it's nice to have the parade back as well. Yeah, definitely the parade back. Uh, we had some changes along the way. We'll talk about those as we go along. Uh, one thing I want to promote, if you haven't been vaccinated, get out there and get vaccinated. This thing isn't over, even though we're returning to normal. What do you think about that? Well, I'm just glad we're somewhat back to normal. It was just kind of strange not having something like this. I always love the parade. I always say that Sheboygan maybe has one of the best parades in the entire state, and it normally lasts about an hour and a half, two hours, and hopefully still we have as many uh, people that are in the parade. Obviously, they're looking up and down the streets. People are back out ready for the parade, so it should be an exciting day. Great weather, so what more can we ask for? We're ready for the parade, too. We're also uh, going to be talking about, uh, we have some trivia questions for you. We'll go through some of those, uh, some other pertinent facts about the 4th of July. So we look forward to bringing you all that. And uh, within seconds, this parade is going to start. And uh, by the way, Chris, what do you like best about the parade? I always like the dogs. I like the dogs. I like, well, just the tradition of other things about the parade. As I said, the going down the streets, but I always look forward to seeing the dogs. Uh, they always have like a Volkswagen club, I always kind of like that. And then try to see some of the people that in groups that have been here for years and years, you know, that are there. And of course you get, probably get something from north and south, hopefully we'll be here as well. That's nice things to have here, but you know, I just like the parade and like I said, it was such a neat thing and people would come out and I used to live on Michigan Avenue and people would come to our house and we'd sit there and watch a parade. And I mean, there's so many activities later as well, down, down by the uh, harbor as well. So it's just a complete day. We're going to be giving you that schedule as we go along through the parade, so you can listen for that also. We're going to step aside, go back to the table, and get ready for the start of the parade. I don't hear you. Hear you. Okay, yep, I do. Okay, this. Sorry, I couldn't get this to print out bigger. But this turned out good. Yeah, we can maybe use some of this. This is from last year or last time. Down in front. Hear the drumming going on, and they are coming down the street, so the parade has started. We're on uh, 8th and Niagara here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, giving you, bringing you the uh, 2021 4th of July parade. Chris, we missed the uh, Memorial Day parade. The one thing I like about that is they have, uh, seem to have a few more bands. Uh, you had mentioned in our opening about the possibility of North and South. Uh, I don't think we're going to be having the uh, the bands from the high schools uh, because of summertime when uh, Memorial Day Parade happens. That's still when school is in session. One thing we can look forward to is the uh, Ferris to the Fair. That was named not too long ago. and we'll, we'll have her and her assistant in the parade. So I'm sure people are just riveted to uh, what in the world have you been doing all this while? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a retired guy, but yeah, still teaching and participate. I know the pickleball club will be here. I can do a little of that. And you might know a couple of those guys. Well, actually, 
in our honor guard here, which will be uh, the first thing the Sheboygan Police Honor Guard. I do know that uh, uh, Officer Fickett is going to be participating in that. He's an awesome tennis player. Uh, yeah, uh, Danny yeah. Moyer still says he's the best A1 he's ever had. I know he will be in this first group here, and then I know that he will be in the end, too. Uh, when uh, I'll sh <laughs> I talked to him a little bit about that, and uh, he's going to be in the beginning of the uh, parade and the end, but uh, as we as we come in here, you see the uh, honorary police guard and uh, sheriff's department. Our cameramen today are uh, Greg over on the down camera, and Richard is in the up camera. Uh, Scott is in the truck. He's our director today, and Mike and Chris on the on the call, as they might say. Well, I told. Uh, Scott, that we're getting the band back together, so I guess you can call us a band. Yeah. We are performing. Color Guard is uh, coming down the street, and uh, we have the uh, judging table right to our left, uh, determining who's going to get the awards that they present. Uh, they're all standing as the Color Guard is passing by. Just a reminder to everyone, this is why we have the 4th of July, is to honor our country and his birthday. It's Officer Fickett with the American flag there. On the agenda is the City of Sheboygan Fire Department. Sheboygan Fire Department is comprised of five stations. The Honor Guard honors the flag and the fallen members of the Sheboygan Fire Department and the, and the fire service. Uh, they just lost one of their retired members, Tom Strandberg, classmate of mine. Kurt Miller right here in the front. Yep. North grad as well. Did a great job of protecting me, Chris, when I was umpiring the games when he was catching. Wow, the streets are lined, Marty. It's great to see. It is really nice and glad, glad that a lot of people were able to come out and uh, view this. Uh, COVID business was really uh, really a downer to say the least. Yeah, and it's somewhat of normalcy. We're getting back there, that's for sure. Just, just loaded for people, which is great. Fire Department used to have several more uh, stations they've consolidated over the years, uh, money-saving efforts, and uh, they do a great job, and uh, the responsibilities don't seem to be toned down. It all seems to expand a little bit. Even though they have less stations, they still have uh, a lot to do, and they do a great job. Thank them and the Police Department for their service. Here comes the North High School drum line. The North High drum line from Sheboygan North, obviously, is a student-led performing ensemble that is always a crowd favorite. Remember when this first started, Marty, this drum line, and it's extremely popular now for kids to participate, and it's, as you can see, males and females get to participate. When something starts, you know, it's always kind of on the small end, but as it keeps going and if it remains popular, it, it does expand, and that's what they've done here. 
you know, they'll go to graduation parties, they'll go to, uh, you know, community <laughs> functions. <laughs> yeah, community functions. Wisconsin Bank and Trust is the 2021 sponsor of the parade. They partner with North High Drumline to kick off this year's parade. by the drum line. All right, Chris, the first of the handouts. <laughs> Are we going to get anything this year? <laughs> Marty's always looking for a handout. Oh, right to the award oh, stand. It just, that was just like last year. They walked right by us. <laughs> There's your dogs. <laughs> Thanks go out to uh, Wisconsin Bank and Trust for sponsoring the parade. I got that one. Maybe. <laughs> Next up we have the City of Sheboygan, Common Council and Mayor. Mayor Ryan Sorensen and a member of the Common Council wish everyone a happy Independence Day. Ryan Sorensen is uh, Sheboygan's youngest mayor ever. So, quite an accomplishment by him. Seems just like yesterday I stood up in front of the Common Council. Yeah. <laughs> and spoke. Yep, to keep uh, city sports out there. If you want to, talk to your these people get it back on the, yeah. Yeah, back on the budget if you want Sheboygan area schools back on uh, sports for football basketball and uh, baseball here we have Sheboygan Municipal Court Sheboygan Municipal Court Judge Natasha Torrey and yeah. older person Amanda Salazar along Man. with members Just of their Amanda staff yesterday. and families wish you a safe and happy Independence Day celebration. Ooh. And here comes Festival Foods as we speak. Festival Foods, a family-owned company, operating stores throughout Wisconsin, and again is a proud sponsor of tonight's fireworks, which are back. Something Milwaukee doesn't have. But there's his leader. Here comes my crew, Marty. The dogs? Yep. All righty. Sheboygan Dog Training Club. Boygan Dog Training Club was established in 1952 with a focus on teaching owners how to have a dog they can live with. With two heated training buildings and two outdoor fenced in areas, the club is open year round. Owned and operated by its members, they offer classes for the public nearly every day of the week, mixed breeds or purebred. All dogs are welcome at Sheboygan Dog Training Club. And you have to think about, they have a long walk. They do. So this is- Especially when you get a little dog on those short little <laughs> legs, boy, that's a lot of steps. So this is good training. Oh, and they can do circles, that's good. That's good. Hey, Chris, I got a trivia question for you. Okay. 
How many people signed the Declaration of Independence? Uh, I will go with 12 times, 48. I'll guess uh, 56. <laughs> it was, imagine that it was 56. 56 signers of the uh, Declaration of Independence. We'll I have more trivia as we go along. I don't think all 13 colonies were there. I think only 12, if I know my my history they right. They must have had more than one representative, huh? Yep, I figured four per. Well, that dog's not getting much of a workout. <laughs> <laughs> Lady is wheeling her dog in a little carriage. Shoreline Metro, your destination for affordable, dependable, safe, and courteous transportation in the Sheboygan Metro area. At Shoreline Metro, we are more than a transportation option. We are a way of life. I'm aboard. Oh, cool. The Hmong Mutual Assistance Association of Sheboygan is next. The traditional clothing represents the different groups of Hmong American people now living in the Sheboygan community. The exhibit represents both diversity and unity, cultural preservation alongside symbols of American pride. The Hmong community has certainly been an asset to uh, the Sheboygan community, Chris. Well, they got a lot of represent representatives for this uh, group. And another very, uh, strong tradition. I mean, they've been doing this parade, I know, for a number of years. Right, right. They used to have the uh, Hmong New Year in the armory. Uh, that was changed several years ago. I think they hold that at North High. Correct. A traditional dance right now. We got the little ones in the back. Good job by the uh, Hmong Mutual Association of Sheboygan. The 1936 Chevy steak rack truck is a replica of the first truck that was used by Hendrick Meyer to transport groceries to the first store. Meyer is located in Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is where their base is. The retailer operates more than 256 super center stores across the Midwest. We're proud to have Meyer back into our community. Obviously taking over the old mall. Yeah, that that uh, really changed over the years and uh, give Sheboygan credit because their mall, like most malls, have, has failed. You know, they just didn't do well. Well, if you look up where Manitowoc had their mall, it's still an empty lot. Sheboygan has been able to develop their uh, space and uh, kept it vibrant. Meyer, of course, a big part of that. Next we have Boogie Bikes. Boogie Bikes builds premium electric bikes with globe, global components right here in Sheboygan County. Happy birthday, USA. Who would have thunk it, huh, Chris? Did you know that? Nope. They built those components here right in Sheboygan County? I did not know that. Oh. Get your e-bike. <laughs> Look at those things go. I know. That's my type of biking. 
where I only have to paddle sometimes. You see the big crash in the bike race over yes. in France? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hold out a sign. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they don't pedal very much. No. Just my speed. <laughs> Is that how you stay so quick on the yeah. tennis courts and the pickleball courts? Lots of cheeseburgers. Ooh, here's a traditional one. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. This is Keel Municipal Band. Members range from 15 to 80, and they all volunteer. Please join us in a 4th of July at Kohler Ravine Park for the annual Sousa concert. But you are right, Marty. This is a very traditional band for a long, long time. What is I was going to say, we've got a list of, of activities going on, but we, this is for Sheboygan. We don't have uh, when the uh, Ravine Park concert will be. band being led by the uh, colors. Boy, there used to be a lot of bands, Marty. Yeah, th that's... I think when you do, when you see the Memorial Day, you get a few more bands. Uh, Fourth of July, not quite as much. Next, we have the Discovery Coach Trolley. All aboard for fun on the Discovery Trolley. Our 28-passenger vintage trolley are ideal for weddings, corporate events, local transfers, and more. Discovery Coach is also a... <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Phil Bittner bringing uh -huh. over some... Uh, Treats for us. <laughs> <laughs> the Bittner's in the Priggies on the trolley. Hey! <laughs> Discovery World is a uh, tradition here in Sheboygan. They also have 16, 30, 48, and 56 passenger coaches for all your transportation needs. A family-owned and operated com company since 1949. And here, of course, is Johnsonville. Visit their new marketplace in the falls. You know, it's just out on J, uh, where they offer 75 sausage varieties. Johnsonville, a uh, longtime uh, member of our county and uh, extremely successful and countrywide now and worldwide, actually. Yeah, worldwide for sure. I just mentioned the uh, the store they have going out yep. there by Johnsonville. Yep, out on uh, Jay. Yeah, my wife was uh, actually giving vaccines out out in Johnsonville uh, a while back and uh, said it's a pretty nifty store. A lot of items in there. And I know Johnsonville will be uh, having their uh, firemen's picnic next Sunday, the 11th. So if you want to go out and support the Johnsonville community. You know what, I was hoping they'd walk by giving away brats. <laughs> you know, Chris, we got to get into that judging gig. Yeah, they, they get, get all, all the, they get all the, the treats. We yeah. get nothing here. Well, we got some pretty good chocolates here, though. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Work. There is the store and the uh, address right there. Like I said, for for you and Sheboygan, just head down, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> just go down, Jay. You'll find it. Yeah, not these 16026B off of Highway 23. Hey, we got the racing sausages coming up, Chris. Wow. Holy cow. Who would have thought? Yep. 
traditional at uh, Brewer games. Hey, how about them Brewers? Crazy. You see that coming? No. <laughs> Me either. No. Hey, I got another uh, trivia question for you. Who was the first person to sign the Declaration of Independence? It's obvious to say Hancock, was it? John Hancock? John Hancock. He had the big one. Good job, Chris. Teach a little social studies, Marty. Really? Yep. This afternoon we have uh, the Freedom Run already took place at 7.15. There's uh, volleyball going down on the beach as well in the Sheboygan North Beach. The parade. Farmer's Market is uh, just up the street from us at Fountain Park. That goes till 1 o'clock. <laughs> hey, what time do the fireworks start tonight? Uh, traditionally, at, oh, they say here at 9.30. They're going to be launching them from barges between North and South Pier, sponsored by Festival. And here comes the... It's the hot dog. The hot dog, yep. The sponsors for Johnsonville. Number two wins this time. <laughs> oh, or wait a minute. Wait, oh. Polish. We got the Italian. <laughs> Good job, kids. Are you part of the brew crew? Hey, that guy's got his Fitbit on. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian sausage. It's nice that they all came. Yeah, this is nice. Sheboygan. There's lots of parades going on. I'm sure they're going to be. There's some tomorrow in the state on the 4th and some on the 5th. The racing sausages were yeah. not on our list, but we well, are adapting. Well, they're part of Johnsonville. They are sponsored. Yeah, right. So, so. And now to get down to uh, the ballpark, American Family Ballpark. Anyone can go now. They've lifted the uh, restrictions, right? Yeah. Right. So. Next, we have uh, Seepkins Power Pedal Tours. Seepkins is a 15 person pedal powered quadri bike quadricycle that gives tours throughout Sheboygan, showcasing what our beautiful area has to offer. Oh, with magnet brewer schedules too. All oh, right. Wow. wow. Here comes that pedal bike. Yeah. That looks like fun. I wonder how they do going uphill. Oh, who is these being sent out? Oh, they got stuff coming out. Here's the uh, Samaritan Hand local faith-based nonprofit drug and alcohol outpatient clinic, wishing everyone a safe and enjoyable 4th of July. You know, I think this number four, Chris, that was the hot dog. Yep. You didn't get a you didn't get a schedule, did you? No. Oh, We're man. not voting. We're not voting. Yeah, I guess you gotta be a judge to get the right. Get all the perks. Hey, Chris, why don't you do this next one? No, go ahead. Sure? Yep. You're yep. going to fill in the, the, the rough edges, though. Sure. Okay. Next, we have 2021 County Ferris to the Fair. Sheboygan's County's Ferris to the Fair this year is Paige Brugink, and she is assisted by Elizabeth Wimler. Now, Paige does and is from where? Does what? Wolfsburg, and she is a... Uh, I don't know, is that Brugink name fit with Usburg people? Is that oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I wonder if it's related to Kevin. Yeah, there you go. Maybe. And, and uh, coach is out there, but uh, I was going to say she's going to go into the medical field. She's already working in hospitals, already as an assistant. So she's got a, she's got a plan. She's got a plan. See, Chris, you got to know somebody. Then yeah, they come over and give you knowing. stuff. There you go. You believe. 
I give that to my neighbor. So Cage and Elizabeth doing the Chevy Cor Corvette, Corvair. Next year, we got here on trucking probably showcases Sheboygan's pride throughout the Midwest and wishes everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. That's a big truck. That is a big one. Let's see, four, eight, twelve, six, an eighteen wheeler. <laughs> wow, she's got a good arm. <laughs> Visit Sheboygan, the Malibu of the Midwest. It is pretty popular for the windsurfing. Yes. Next, we have the town of Sheboygan Fire Department. Is proud to serve you and the area. The 9-11 float has the names of the first responders who passed away that day. In addition, this is the first year for the Honor Guard. Long of Sheboygan Fire Department. Big equipment there, Chris. Following the fire department will be the Republican Party of Sheboygan. Hey, I got one for you, Chris. In what year were the fireworks first used to celebrate the 4th of July? How about within 100 years? <laughs> <laughs> 1804. Oh, you just missed it. No, you get to make it, actually. You did. It's 1777. Who would have wow. thought that long? Yeah. Well, fireworks have been around from the Chinese yeah. a long time. Yeah, you're right. Good job. Here's the Republican Party, as I stated before. Yeah. The uh, U.S. Bank is uh, the next on our list, and employees of U.S. Bank, along with family and friends, celebrate Independence Day with the community they are proud to serve, and they want us all to uh, celebrate safely. And Chris, this finishes the red division of our parade. We are now going to start after this with the uh, white division, and then we have the blue division. So we're a third of the way through. You know what the problem is, Chris? Our table isn't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting in this little oh, circular know. table alongside all those judges. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. Pretty good Whoa, spot. good throw. Good spot here. <laughs> Hopefully they have stuff at the end, right? Oh, they, she threw it at us. <laughs> she did hit the street, though. <laughs> Here's uh, Joe Summers, the bagpiper. 
He's been playing the bagpipes since he was nine years old. Need a piper? Of course you do. American Legion Post 83. The color guard is represented today by American Legion Post 83 and Prescott Baines. They were the original sponsors. I'm not sure if they still do, uh, but they were the original sponsors of the Sheboygan's uh, Legion team. They still do. Still do. Uh, that, uh, I believe, got started in about 1962 or so. For Legion baseball? Yes. Somewhere in that time frame. Good opportunity for uh, kids in the summertime play baseball. Horizons for girls, mentors, middle and high school female students inspired them to fulfill their academic and personal goals. Anything that helps kids we're for, right, Chris? Next we have the Sheboygan Falls Varsity Dance Team. The Sheboygan Falls Varsity Dance Team earned their first ever regional and state title campaign in 2020 and retained it in 2021. That's impressive. As well as earning a national champion title. Very impressive to say the least. The Purple Birds. Yeah, and I'll tell you, they work hard at this, Chris. You know, it's not just uh, here and there practice. They got a regular routine, and the uh, practices are long and hard. And they have to be in good shape. Congratulations to those kids. U.S. Coast Guard is next here, the uniform volunteer component of the team Coast Guard group. You know, speaking of the Coast Guard, Chris, there's been a lot of... Uh, reports on the news about the dangers of uh, swimming in the lake and uh, the Coast Guard of course is very important in rescuing people and that kind of thing so they provide a extremely important service. Uh, just want to remind everybody out there when you go swimming in the lake be safe. Yep there's riptides. Yeah exactly and did we mention this in the opening? Get your vaccine shot. Where does this parade end? Do we know? Where does it end? Yeah. On 7th Street? No, down by the, um, past by the Y there. It does go all the way down there, I huh? think so. I believe so, yes. Well, well it doesn't matter because people are going to be Avenue. seeing it on replay. <laughs> Michigan Avenue. Sheboygan Youth Sailing wishes everyone a happy, safe boating Independence Day. They have a big facility on uh, Superior Avenue. Uh, right across the street where uh, Rick Bumgart used to live, actually. Very nice facility where they can store their th uh, sailing vessels in the wintertime. A lot of dogs in the parade, Chris, even with the sailors. Another uh, great opportunity for kids here in uh, Sheboygan County to get involved. It's good to see all these youth participating in activities. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. <laughs> right on the table. <laughs> You'll wonder if they have anything left for the finish. It's good that we're at the beginning. <laughs> The Sailing Association of Sheboygan wishing everyone a happy Independence Day. And uh, they have boats for rent. You do much on the water, Chris? Not anymore. Well, I know you used to go tubing, but I'm talking in, in a boat. Nope. No, me either. Imagine that, all these years living yep. on the lake and Hardly doing anything on the water. 
County Treasurer, Laura Henning Lorenz, welcomes you to the parade. 18 years of service, Chris. Born and raised in Sheboygan. Yeah. Well, she likes her job. Ooh, we got a good one coming up, Chris. Next up is the Sheboygan Lakers Figure Skating Club. The Sheboygan Lakers Figure Skating Club was formed in 2008. Their goal is to give anyone with an interest in the or opportunity to learn figure skating. Again, there are great opportunities for kids to get involved. Uh, they offer lessons on Monday evenings from mid-August all the way through to March. This is their this is their time for you to sign up and then get involved when it's when gonna be 85 starts. 90 here today <laughs> we gotta think yeah. of ice <laughs> i remember fred engelar when they first built that building they had to do something to so they could lay the lines down in the building to keep ice year round if he wouldn't have done that it would only been a been able to do it in the in the winter time but uh, again another opportunity for uh kids to get involved Whoa. Sheboygan Lakers Figure Skating Club. Try it for free. Figure skating on uh, August 14th from 11 to 12 and hockey for an hour from 12.15 to 1.15. Ooh, that'd be right up uh, CJ Skelton's alley. Take Hudson over there. Here's the Sheboygan JCs, young person's organization that promotes community outreach. The JCs are, are walking today to promote their two biggest events. Brought Day is August 6th and 7th, and of course, Dominion of Terror, which always occurs at the Haunted House in October. Another great opportunity get involved, not necessarily for kids, but uh, for young adults. Next we have Walmart pickup and delivery. Walmart free online grocery pickup. Wishing everyone a happy Independence Day. And you get the next one, Chris. Yeah, it's the Sheboygan Pops, which were founded in 1989 to promote band music in our area. The band performs winter and spring concerts, in addition to summer concerts, all at Fountain Park. All concerts are free. And there will be uh, some music performed at noon at Fountain Park today by the theater, I know. Great job by those guys and girls. Here's the Sheboygan Pickleball Club. You got it, Chris. For information about pickleball, go to the Sheboygan County Pickleball uh, website. There's Bill and Ralph, Tom, Diane. All right. Mr. Riemann. Yeah. <laughs> Just played against these guys yesterday. Just played against these guys yesterday. Here comes Jerry. Uh, <laughs> here's Bill and Jerry's right there. Jerry Camerself. And then we to work with him. Bullhorn Chapels. Stop by their brat fry after the parade. All proceeds go to the Sharon's Sharon S. Richardson Community Hospice. Uh, that's an important service that's uh, provided for uh, people in the community. Next we have Warped Dance Company. Warped Dance Company is a collective collective of aerialists and professional dancers who work collaboratively to create and present innovative works through artistic performance. And there you can see their uh, float with the uh, swinging hoop. Uh, 
Well, I would have loved one of those flags. You got bad breath or something? I don't know. That's why <laughs> I got keep plenty passing candy. us by. We better hide that candy because, you know, they think we have so much. <laughs> Warp Dance Company, great giving you that shot. Well, they got the big kids in the front and it just gets smaller as you get to the back. Look at how short those little ones are. So many things to do in our community. Take yeah, advantage right. of it. Here's a gaming generation. Gaming generation. Workers and video game co-players dress up in superhero and game icons to put on smiles on everyone's face. You know where I got this? Where would you think I got this? School. In the truck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside joke, people. <laughs> Ooh. Town of Wilson Fire Department and first responders wish everyone a safe Independence Day. Again, uh, they provide a uh, very important service for uh, our community, specifically the town of Wilson, but uh, let's face it, if they were needed somewhere else, they would help out there too. Look at that guy. Tona Wilson, fire department and first responders going by us now. I think we got time for another quiz question here, Chris. There was only one president born on the 4th of July. Who was it? I could tell you the ones that died on the 4th of July. Okay, that's <laughs> that'll be your next question. <laughs> that was Adams and Jefferson. Born on the 4th of July. Oh, I don't have, I honestly couldn't tell you. I'll just take a guess. How about? Calvin Coolidge. Okay, uh, Calvin Coolidge. You got it. <laughs> I did not know that. I knew Neither the two. Did that, I. I knew the two that died, and they <laughs> died on the same day. Actually, that's our next question, people. But according it, it, to my information that I got here, Adams and Jefferson are ones that most people know about. Yep. They died within hours of each other, yep. actually. And uh, the, uh, there was a third one, according to my notes, James Monroe. And I didn't know that either. Uh, Adams and Jefferson were fierce rivals when they were uh, in the political arena as uh, they drew out of that arena and, and became a little older and, and more mellow. They uh, actually drew up a, a strong friendship yep. and exchanged letters for uh, yep. quite a time. And they died on the 50th anniversary, which is a weird, you know, not the 48th, not the 50th, the 50th anniversary, which is kind of strange. Of our country. Yep. Yep. We're on the uh, Oh, this is the Red, Red Raider, Raider Robotics. Yeah, you got it. Is the premier Schmerga area's first robotics team. They won Rookie of the Year their first year and, and attended uh, the Worlds. Today they have brought their 2021 season competition robot to the parade. Look at that. If you're into uh, computer or robotics, I should say, this is... Uh... Oh, it's an automatic... Ball thrower? It seems that oh, way. Here, 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 here. Yeah, it is. Wow. Cool. Look at that guy. He's throwing away candy. Wow. I, think I saw a lot of girls that have better arms than that little robotic, but it's still pretty cool how it does that. Yeah. Ooh. Do I get this one? Sure. Sheboygan North's cheer and stunt. Sheboygan North cheer and stunt team is an athletic group of girls whose main job is to cheer, jump, and tumble for football, basketball at North High School. Wow. Those girls. Wow, that's On pretty cool. Cement. Cheer and stunt. That would go under the classification of another activity kids could be involved with. Yep. You have to wait till you get to high school, but 
Hey, Shoot, go down to the Y and practice up before you get to high school. Drum line, dance, and uh, cheer. Oh, Greg, you gonna get those guys? Ooh, there you go, a little support. Two more, look at that. That's pretty awesome. I won't be trying that at home. Yeah, you know what? It scares me to watch that. Yep. That part I'll bet is fun when they catch you. <laughs> Better keep them all as friends, Chris. Well. Good job, girls. Here's Glenn Grothheim for yep. Congress. We re-elect re re him. He's up for office in 2021. No, that no, 2022. Yeah, I was going to say it shouldn't be an even, odd year. It's an even year. Yeah. You do teach social studies, right? Yeah. I saw the exclamation <laughs> oh, mark, I got it. and I thought it was a one. Yeah, it does look like a one. Next, we have the Girl Scouts of Manitou. The Girl Scouts of Manitou Council are here today showing off their Girl Scout skills. Atop the float is the founder of Girl Scouts, Juliet Gordon Lowe. Today, they celebrate the influential women that helped shape this country. Were you a scout? I was a Cub Scout. I was in scouting for a little while, maybe a couple of years. But another opportunity for kids to get involved. You know, having your, I, I don't know about, I, I don't know about the Girl Scouts that much, but I know with Boy Scouts, you know, if you get to, to uh, Eagle Scout status, that's a great thing to have on your resume when you're going looking for jobs and things. Freedom Cry, Marching for Freedom, is part of the fight against human trafficking. It's this nonprofit organization. surprised when we were in our opening Chris you didn't say the favorite part of the parade were motorcycles they're pretty loud oh, he's got a doggy on his back you got it all Chris motorcycle <laughs> and a dog Oh, this we did mention in the opening. You nailed it, the VW Club of Sheboygan. The Volkswagen Club of Sheboygan is honored to celebrate the nation's independence. Our vehicles are dedicated to show the patriotic themes that reflect the respect for our country, the United States of America. Good job, VFW Club of Sheboygan. Those are classic. Tour of the country in that one. Yeah, really. VFW Post 9156, the color guard is represented today.
Next we have the Marine Corps League Detachment, 1446. Remembering one of the bloodiest battles in Marine Corps history, the raising of the U.S. flag during World War II at Mount Serabuchi on Iwo Jima in January 1945. Very iconic theme of the Marine Corps. War Memorial Detachment detached to all Marines who have given their lives since 1775. So a long history of Marine Corps service to our country. Next, we have uh, Earthfest. Earthfest celebrates with original art and posters promoting environmental and environment awareness. All right, hippies Very live. <laughs> well, well represented. Yes. Ooh, that, <laughs> he needs a little bit of help. The wind is pretty strong all of a sudden. He's having trouble with that big sign. I think by 3 o'clock, everybody's going to appreciate that there's going to be a breeze. Yeah. Friends of Peace Park uh, slash Raging Grannies of Sheboygan. Friends of Peace Park presents the Raging Grannies with an average age of 78, singing their version of the Women's Peace Song, Stop by Peace Park. It's at 3rd and Michigan Avenue anytime. Uh, we were over there just the other day, Chris. Uh, John Dahl gave a uh, one hour concert and then after that was followed by uh, an hour of uh, poem reading. And it was a nice event. It's a real nice area to have a small gathering and uh, right down by the lake. And here's our friends of Peace Park, Raging Grannies of Sheboygan. Here's Bethlehem Lutheran Church and School, wishing everybody a blessed independence. where my wife went to school. They're very well represented too. Yeah, a lot, a lot of kids. Whoa. I know There's I, the light palms. Yeah. <laughs> I know I repped, repped their games. <laughs> he forgot to leave us some candy though. <laughs> Brant's Complete Appliance Service. Happy Independence Day from Brant's. Oh, they turned off Lee Greenwood. Still have the Bethel and Badgers coming by. Holy cow. That is a large contingent. There's Brants. They're uh, slow to the party, but they made it. Uh, by Midwest Communications. Up next, we have Roxbury, excuse me, we have Sheboygan hometown radio stations. 13.30 a.m., of course, that's WHBL there. We also have Sheboygan's Rock Stations, 101.65, The Buzz, and of course, 104.5.96.1, Sheboygan's Point. We also have B93, that I think is the last one there. That, of course, is our country station in town. 
You know what they don't have on Sirius Radio? You know, they got all those stations and all those different kinds of music. They don't have polka. A polka station? Yeah. Rick Corson's a big polka fan. He was really nice to me. We went down to a Cub game, and he only played the polka station until Milwaukee, and then we got to listen <laughs> to regular music. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Who has this one? We have the uh, Black, Ameri Black American Community Outreach, which is everyone a very happy and safe independence. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to empower and uplift the community in which we live. I did, I forgot to mention, we just a few units ago finished the second third of our uh, oh. parade, the division, the white division. We're now well into the blue division, our last uh, segment of this year's parade. Yep, down to our last 17 or so. Yeah. You know what, I think we're a cinch to win best TV production. <laughs> for the parade. Oh, you know what, Chris? You know what we got to put on our table next year? A tablecloth where on the front it says judges. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll get a lot of I think we'd be misleading our our competitors. Hey Chris, are you familiar with the Crossroads Community Church? I am not. What is that? Where did you guys used to play uh, pickleball? No, no, Crossroads, I believe. Yes, I think Crossroads now has moved. Yes, to uh, to County A. So that's right, I believe, where uh, right behind Home Depot. That's where they are now. Okay. okay. Crossroads Community Church is promoting their free children's outreach event, Wisen Up. That runs uh, July 19th to the 22nd from 6.15 to 8.30 p.m. at their new facility. Chris just mentioned that. The event is open to children going into first through sixth grade. Sign up at their website, www.crossroadssheboygan.org. Walk-ups are also welcome. Come rain or shine. Yep, they meet at 9 o'clock and 1045s on Sunday, as I said. Out behind uh, Home Depot there. Nice contingent of people from that uh, Crossroads Community Church. Crossroads comes Van Horn Automotive. Since 1966, Van Horn Automotive Group has remained Wisconsin's premier family-owned and operated auto group. We have proudly sell new, used, and certified pre-owned vehicles for every budget and style. Van Horn. Coming up, we have uh, Howard's Grove Fire Department. This truck features members of our fire department. We are proud of our team. 
and are always looking for new members. The Howard's Grove Fire Department. Okay, Chris, another trivia question for you. The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. But it used to be New York. My notes say Philadelphia. Philadelphia. I'll tell you, this Howard's Grove Fire Department truck is a beauty. Sure is. Up next, we have Freak Toys Collectibles. Freak Toys is a family-owned business located right near where we are located on 520 North 8th Street. It's open seven days a week. We offer a layaway year-round. They, uh, they have a sign at uh, Wildwood Baseball Park out in the outfield. Been around for a while. Oh, here's a good one, Chris. What bird did Benjamin Franklin want as the national bird? The turkey, that I knew. All right, good job. You're approaching 50%, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spider-Man is here. Wow. Of course, they go right by us. Next we have Sticky Toys. Sticky Toys wishes everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. Ooh, this is a good one for you, Chris. Pedocostal of Sheboygan. Pedocostal of Sheboygan, we celebrate freedom today because of the past sacrifices, which in everybody I hate, a, excuse me, a safe and enjoyable fourth. Nice representation by this uh, yeah. Pentecostal you can organization. Sc scan, scan it now. That's amazing what you can do with your phones. Well, we got a couple of them lagging behind. Look at them run down the street, Chris, okay. trying to catch up. Next, we have Faith Based Education Incorporated been formed for the sole purpose of promoting schools that offer education that is explicitly grounded in the biblical truth and Christian belief, preparing students for service to God and country. Do you have any more announcements for when things are happening today, Chris? No, I kind of basically said that. The Freedom Run took place already this morning. It'll be volleyball all day down at North Beach. Uh, we have the Farmer's Market till 1. Uh, we have stuff going on at Freedom Fest at uh, Dillon Park. That starts at noon, goes to 11. There's music down there as well. Uh, and, of course, the fireworks tonight at 9.30. can dunk the mayor too today oh yeah dunk We're, tank for big brothers and big sisters between you know, 2 and 2 30. i looked at that and i'm not sure where that's being held yeah it wasn't it says big brothers big sisters wisconsin yeah, yeah. shoreline whatever yeah. that means 
But uh, anyway, if you find out where it is, go dunk them. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the Sheboygan County YMCA Springers, another traditional group that we've seen over the years. First founded in 1985, the team now is comprised of over 100 gymnasts, aging from four to 18 and competing at 19 separate levels. Oh, I think we're gonna have a little performance right in front of us. Maybe Greg can get this. Setting up their mats. Look at that little kid. Look at them go. She's got the wave down too. And they know to greet the judges. <laughs> yeah. They've been schooled. <laughs> Holy cow. Very well done. Wow. And now they're gonna pack up and leave. Yep. Next is the Long House Axe Bar. The Long Axe Bar, Longhouse Axe Bar is a Viking axe throwing experience featuring a full craft bar and now serving ramen. Four new escape rooms will be opening soon. Check out the website. I believe that's on Indiana Avenue. Yep. It uh, sounds like an interesting. Uh, 11th and uh, Indiana. Yeah, 1133 Indiana Avenue. Sounds like an interesting concept. One of my former students actually has started that. Wow. You taught him well. Yeah. Here's Meyer Motors. Well, and I believe this is the blue light right here, so. Oh, they messed up. Yep, blue light. Yep. Dean Dayton and his mother, Avira Vera, opened the blue light in 1998. Thanks, Sheboygan, and allowing us to our mission to promote a safe, affirming pace for the LGBTQ community. Next we have the Sheboygan County Democratic Party. Happy Independence Day from the Sheboygan County Democratic Party. So we've had the Republicans and now the Democrats. And uh, as they walk down the street, they're holding signs promoting their uh, views on things. Nice contingent of uh, people in this organization. group we have here is the Glacial Lake 4x4 group promotes safe and responsible off-road vehicle through their trail ambassador program oh Chris we got one coming up here that uh, very traditional in being in the parades we're gonna give them a second to get here and then we'll talk about them okay here's one you should know too what's that who was the principal author of the Declaration of Independence? Well, that's Thomas Jefferson, but he got help from... You're ben, over 50%. Ben and... <laughs> Boy, I yours and helped. And Adams and right. Ben helped. Here's a trick question. We had this in the 2019 parade. We'll see if you remember. On what day did the majority of the people sign the Declaration of Independence? 
today, wasn't it the third? According to my notes, it was August 2nd, really? 1776. Look at this Jeep Club. Yeah, we didn't have Jeep Club on our list, did we? Nope. Oh well, good for them. U.S. Navy. I think this is all part of the Glacier Lake 4x4 four four Yeah, drill. I think you're right, Chris. A lot of nice vehicles yeah. as uh, part of the parade. I'm sure they don't, uh, when they go off-roading, look this clean. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, look at how clean those tires are. There's not even any mud in there. Great. I know you've all been waiting out there in viewership land about that iconic parade troop that's been in every year, and it's the Jaeger Clowns. The Jaeger Clowns are another parade favorite, and uh, they uh, always put on a good show. Yep, been around forever. Well, we're winding down, Marty. Yeah, we got to get our last question in then. This is a hard one, Chris. I don't think you'll get this one. Who wrote the Pledge of Allegiance? Oh. No idea. Francis Bellamy. He was a Baptist minister, and he uh, was in, he wanted to promote the separation of church and state, which, you know, we hear a lot of. But uh, Francis Bellamy wrote the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Drumming for a change. Started by Joel Fisher. This group is made up of fellow drummers from all over, including members of the Classic Reunion Marching Band, which we remember, of course, showing you how people can have fun and work together. And they finish the parade with a smile. There's Doug Ruby up there. And then here's Dusty Fickett, as I said, to yeah. end the parade on a shiny cycle. He was the one who started the parade. He was holding the American flag, and we mentioned that he would be at the beginning and the end, and he is. Wonder if he gets double pay. Well, Chris, this was enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Glad we were able to do this. We want to thank uh, the city for uh, sponsoring us, getting us out to uh, to broadcast this parade. We hope all of our viewers enjoyed it. We enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, anything else you got to add? Nope, just stay safe today. Yeah, stay safe and uh, happy 4th of July, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.